It's very good, it's very peaceful, but sometimes you can get into fights and get um, get a bit upset. Henry Compton is uh, an 11-16 boys comprehensive in Fulham, West London. About 600 students in the school, very diverse, very multicultural. We've got um, over 50 community languages spoken. We've got kids from every part of the world from, you know, in one class, for example, I would teach boys from Lithuania, Brazil, Somalia, um, Portugal, Italy, China, Afghanistan. There's Pakistani, there's Hindu, there's Indians, there's Somali. Somalians, Yemen. Um, there's a lot, there's too much to think of. You know, it's hugely diverse um, and that's what makes it so exciting. Yes, 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 Everybody respects each other, their faith, their religion, their colour, their great. culture, their racial harmony, bro. Racial harmony. Yeah, yeah. whatever you say, racial harmony. <laughs> I'll give you a. What's it like being a Roma in this school? Um, very shy, um, very worried that somebody will get to know and then take a mick out of you. Really? Yeah. That they'll beat you up and humiliate you all yeah. the time. Why, why would someone beat you up or humiliate you for being Roma? Um, because they think, they, they take it as their own way of being Roma, which they say as we're like, we live in caravans and stuff. They don't like, they say that they don't like us and stuff like that. So people have a uh, prejudice point of view about Roma yeah. people, they don't properly understand what Roma are about, yeah? yeah. Why, why do you think people have that? Why do you think people have prejudices? And stuff um, because it's just been going on generation to generation. People say just that we live in caravans, we're not good people, and that's it. It would be better if there were some people that did not threaten and beat up people. And take the milk out of us. Uh, yes, sometimes. Sometimes when I walk around, 
they see me and something's wrong like my tie or I don't have a blazer, they take the mic off. So what do you think the aim of this film, one of the aims of this film should be? Well it's, a, it's aiming for like to to show them what it's really about, who Roma people is are and what what they went to be do, what they're doing in here like. It's about encouraging a kind of pride, pride within the pupils. They can feel confident about who they are, that they can be proud of who they are, that they can show that they, they can achieve what they want to achieve, which is to show that they are the same as any other kid. Because what the kids want, they want to be able to fit in, they want to be able to be seen as the same as everyone else. But yeah, at the same time, without forgetting that their their Roma heritage, but they can bring in, you know, bring in bits of their background into their work or into their relationships with other people and not have to hide it. This is the playground near the canteen yeah. where, where you get so, where we eat. So that's where where my tutor my tutor group is, where I get registered. Yeah. What do you like about being Roma? The tradition. Like, like what? what what's it's very your... celebrated. It's similar to Catholic. Yeah? Yeah. In what, in what way? We go to church every Sunday. Because some lot of British communities, they don't do that. They don't go to church every Sunday. So yeah. would you say that Roma is a very traditional yeah. community where they keep things for a long time, over many, many years, and they don't let them go? Yeah. Yeah? And is that important to you? Yeah. I have to do it. It's a tradition, isn't it? This is where we come into school. This is where the reception is. Yeah. This is Jean, our reception, head, head of reception. This is Mr. Valdemar. Yes, he's a very good person. He helps me a lot and he, he doesn't allow me getting bullied or anything. We've always had a, a strong Roma contingent in the school. We've had our traveller team, the traveller education team, have worked here for us. I've been here for seven years and they've been here, I think, probably at least ten years. Um, and as far as I know, we're the only school in the country to have a specialist traveller team uh, actually working in the school. Come on, come on. <laughs> Traditionally, Romani people have got different way of life, different customary code, and they sometimes not within the accepted frame, that causes uh, questions, problems, and hatred and Romanophobia on the side of outsiders, as we call them, Gaja people, but not Roma, because they want to put Roma into their own frame of work. But in order to survive, Roma stick to their customary code. That helped Roma without having army, without having police, etc., to survive and to preserve their identity.